So okay, this controller is for the original Xbox. It's designed to look like a 360 controller. Overall, I really like it. However, the plastic is very thin and brittle. There ain't really much we can do about that. Unless we print out a whole new shell, which we'd have to design from scratch. Maybe in a future video we will do that. But for now, what we can do is convert a 360 joystick to work on this. Because after all, it's based off a 360 controller, which means 360 joysticks are relatively the same, so we can put them in place. Anyway, just to prove that this is a th original Xbox controller, here's the adapter to make it run. Um, it's a wireless adapter. It, overall, it's just a USB device with a custom connector on it. And I think we can easily internally install this thing inside of a original Xbox. A lot of people done that before. I'm thinking I might be one to do the same soon. But overall, since my Xbox is a revision 1.0 model, it's the earliest Xbox, essentially. I don't really want to disturb the motherboard from its more natural state, I guess you could say. I don't want to kind of ruin it, so maybe we won't do that mod. Maybe we will. We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, let's just take a look at this controller and start taking it apart, shall we? First of all, if I remember correctly, I did not take the batteries out. And if you have a controller like this, always take the batteries out before you take it apart. One thing to note about um, this controller, I took it apart maybe a couple of uh, days ago, maybe a week ago. Everything here was that corroded and rusted, so I tried my best to rejuvenate it, but we may have to replace this part in the future, but for now... We're going to leave this rusted, dilapidated piece as is, and we're just going to focus on getting this joystick out. And seeing it 3D printed part that I just got done printing will fit in the new cavity. So okay, if I remember correctly, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. Alright, we're about halfway um, done unscrewing this. It's a little bit of a pain, I won't lie. These screws are just about equally as bad as the N64 screws, in my opinion. If you put them back in, they tend to get, like, sticky. I don't know how to word it. Then again, this controller used to have a grip on it, believe it or not. I just kind of, like, took it all off with, um, what's it called? A gooby gone or something? It kind of started to disintegrate, so what I did was I took the grip off of it entirely and I kind of liked it better without the grip. So if you can call that a mod, well then that's a mod win. If you have a controller like this and your grip's starting to go bad, just completely remove the grip. It's not useful at all to this controller. Well we kind of ran into a snag, but I sorted it out. There's a screw that didn't want to come out of one of the holes, but it's just kind of gripped in there really tightly from grime. So we're just going to leave it in. There's no reason to take apart this backhand assembly really, so I'm not going to do that. However, what I will do is pass it out of the way like so, so I have a lot of room to work on here. Um, overall, I really like this controller. There's just a few issues with its design in my opinion. Just like a 360 controller, these like little um, buttons at the top like to fall off. I may just take them off entirely for now, so we're going to take them off in the order they came off in, like so. This controller, uh, it's a lot like the 360 controller if you've ever taken one apart, but at the same time not. You pull this whole thing forward and your trigger assembly and everything else, including your buttons, is under there. And when you do so, it may come loose with the membrane. Um, I don't really know any kind of easy way to free it up, so we're just gonna like try to loosen the rumble motors like that, and we're gonna pull up and hopefully all the buttons stay in place with the membrane. And I'm gonna try to get at the joystick that's bad. I think it's this one, it may have actually just fell off. Yep, that's good. Alright, there we go, we got the joystick out. Um, as you can see, this is the, the faulty one, here I'll try to focus the camera a bit. I put a, like a plastic replacement cap on, it's meant for a 360 controller, but they don't really fit anything. And ultimately when I put that on, the foam that I had covering the original joystick ripped, so I don't have any more replacement stuff for that, that which is why I figured we might as well just replace the whole damn, you know, part with a new part. And the part I'm making, I think, isn't right. I think the whole 
may be a little too large yet, so I may need to reprint that. But we will see how closely accurate they are. I really, I gotta say this, uh, if you never printed on glass before, do it. That is the biggest change I've ever seen in this part. Um, let me focus this a bit better. I'm gonna show you the old part I did on tape versus the new part. Yeah, there's no competition there. This thing just looks amazing. All right, it doesn't look like it's too far off. I might be able to make this work. The hole actually looks like it might be a little bit smaller than the original. This might actually provide more grip. This one kind of wiggled around a bit. It's It all comes down to whether or not it fits the the part, or hardware I should say. So let's just get it on there and we'll see how it goes. Oh, like a glove. Actually, I think it might need to go down a little farther. Oh man, that's that's a shame. I don't think the height's exactly right. It's a little bit taller, so it's custom after all, which means even if we got a 360 joystick, I don't think it would fit in this hardware. So I don't really know what we're going to do about that. I may just put the old stick on for now. Until I design something that's similar. And if I make a model that works, I'll do an updated video on this. And maybe release a file on Thingiverse for those that have the same type of controller that I got. But overall, um, to take this thing apart, it's as simple as I showed you pretty much. Yeah, this whole like PCB lifts up like that. And you have access to the thumbsticks and everything. And it's really easy to slot a new one on. Um, they're a little bit loose depending on how old or worn out they are. This one comes off a little too easy now. And getting it back on is a little bit of a, a pain. But yeah, it just goes on like that. And then you can put the whole PCB back down like so. Just be careful because the buttons will come loose. What I recommend is actually standing this controller up on something like a... Like, you know, just a, a little bit height on it and then put some thumbtack on to keep it in place. That makes it a little bit easier if you're taking apart like a 360 controller or this, let's say, for the first time. Because what tends to happen is the membrane here comes loose, all the buttons fly everywhere, it becomes a nightmare. And it's even worse with this controller. Because the buttons, um, I'll show you once it's all back together, but the buttons are kind of, um, they're double buttons. There's a button inside of a button. And then that button pushes the thing in. It's kind of weird and wacky. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. Another thing I thought I'd mention is uh, if your controller... Here, let me zoom in on this. Another thing I'd like to mention about this controller, I'm going to pull that off again. If you ever run into issues where it's drifting really bad, right here, these pins, you want to clean them all around the actual... Um, God, the name escapes me. I'll have it on screen and replace it every time I say it wrong. But yeah, those pins hooked up to the actual joystick assembly. If they get corroded or if gunk blocks them, which can happen, stuff tends to fall in under these sticks somehow. Don't really know how when they're designed to cover over them, your joysticks will drip. I had that problem with this controller. Just gave it a nice little um, isopropyl alcohol bath. As you can see, I got this... Uh, 91% stuff does wonders. Just put it on a brush and slather it on. If you ever have drifting problems with an original Xbox controller that's wireless like this one, that will fix it. Anyway, for now, I'm just going to re... Uh, actually, I'm not even sure if I want to reassemble this. Yeah, we're going to reassemble it, but we're going to leave this joystick uh, cap off till I can design a new one. So yeah, for now, let's just get this thing back together. Uh... I wish I had like a spare part that would just temporarily cover that, but I don't. Let me check the old one. I think the old one has the same height problem. Alright, so yeah, what we're going to do is I'm just going to cover that and I'll tape the hole up so no dirt gets in there. So this part's actually kind of hard because I'm doing it a bit differently than how you should do it. But if you just want to clean the joystick hardware or, you know, uh, check for debris under the membrane, that'd be the easiest way to do it. Just like sandwich the thing open, pull the PCB up, and you're good. Now putting it back together is a little tricky. Make sure everything lines up. And from here you want to slide your buttons back into place and make sure they're in the right order. White should be on that side, black should be on the other side. And they should just slot in kind of like the N64 ones do. They just kind of 
have their own groove. They feel like they might fall out, but don't let them. And then you take the back half of the controller. Let me just make sure everything's on camera. Yeah, as you can see, those two, they kind of just slide in there. Anyway, I'm going to put the back on now. Being gentle not to hit any of the capacitors, because this is an old controller, and I don't really feel like replacing capacitors, but they're super simple to replace. Anyway, we just kind of close it up like that, and we put our screws back in, and it's good to go. For the time being, I'm leaving this joystick piece out. We're going to 3D print ourselves a new one to, you know, that will work. But for now, like I said, um... I think it's either going to be in a light blue like this, baby blue, I think that might look cool, or a green like this, and we're going to try to integrate a LED on it as well, but for the sake of this video, this is just how you would take apart this specific controller, get at the joystick caps themselves, and how you would go about cleaning it. But yeah, for now, I'm going to leave today's video off here, expect a part two in the future. Anyway guys, DTPK signing off, peace. Well, it's super simple. Let's say I just type screen in and then top. Top is essentially the task manager. The file is done and our file is, yes, indeed, hidden within the original image itself.